five scary people throughout history first up robert johnson born may 8th 1911 robert johnson would become one of the most remembered musicians of all time his style of blues would go on to inspire future generations long after he passed away august 16th 1938 Despite all his success in music, Robert Johnson is remembered for more mysterious reasons. Robert Johnson is known for making a deal with the hmm. Although Johnson became a well-known blues player, later in his short life, he did not start out that way. Most who heard him play were not fans, to say the least. However, one night, Johnson would take a trip to a four-way intersection, or crossroads as they are called. Rumor has it Johnson presented his guitar to the hmm, and after tuning it, the hmm informed Robert that once he accepted the guitar, the hmm would take his soul in exchange. After that night, it said Johnson could play better than any human could ever hope to play. Johnson would also be the first to join a club known as the 27 Club. This club refers to successful performers who perish at the age of 27 due to a supposed bargain with otherworldly forces. Next up, Tichaba. Tichaba was a Native American woman accused of witchcraft during the Salem witch trials in the late 1600s. Tichaba is well known for being the first person to admit to practicing witchcraft. It should be noted that during this time, young girls in Salem were observed having fits, nightmares, and a number of other odd behaviors. These young girls claimed to be victims of witches. Tichiba, being a slave at that time, would receive the blame for practicing witchcraft by multiple accusers. Although she denied it at first, she would later admit that she had in fact been schooled in the ways of the occult. I made a video on witches if you want to check it out, but basically, if you were accused of, witch of witchcraft in those times, there was little investigation conducted to find out the truth. Many women throughout history accused of witchcraft were executed, but the fate of Tichiba is unknown. Hmm. Next up, Jacques de Molay. Born sometime in the mid-1200s, Jacques would become the 23rd Grand Master of the Templar Knights. The Templar Knights were a military group founded in the early 1100s. The Templars were a holy outfit dedicated to the preservation of the Catholic faith. Despite being a holy outfit, the Knights Templar were one of the wealthiest outfits at the time. Being incredibly wealthy has its downsides. King Philip IV, being in debt to the Templars, would order all the Templars be captured and tortured tortured for crimes against the church. These crimes ranged from being accused of homosexual acts to worshiping the severed head of one of Jesus' disciples. While being burned alive at the stake, Jacques would foretell of King Philip's demise, and, as one could guess, his prediction would come to pass. Next up, Harry Houdini. Harry Houdini, born March 24, 1874, is one of the world's most well-known magicians and escape artists. Some believed Houdini would fake his stunts. However, not willing to let such an accusation slide, Harry made it his mission to expose actual fraudulent performers, mystics, etc. Rumors of Houdini's abilities range from the ability to teleport or move through space to being able to perform actual magic. However, the most likely case is that Harry was just double jointed, stronger than the average man, and or really flexible. There are some facts to back up this theory. It was one of Harry's quote unquote tricks to get punched in the gut really hard while sustaining little to no injury. Side note, could this even be considered magic? Uh, however, this would spell out disaster for Houdini because on October 22, 1926, witnesses saw Houdini get punched in the gut by Jocelyn Gordon Whitehead, a boxer at that time. The next nine days would foretell the end of Harry Houdini. He would faint during shows, be unable to get to sleep, and probably the cause of his actual demise, ignore doctor's orders. On Halloween 1926, Houdini passed away. To add insult to injury, Whitehead Whitehead was never found guilty for causing Houdini's death. Freaky how he passed away on the scariest day of the year. Hmm. Last on this list, Rosaline Norton. Born October 2nd, 1917, Rosaline was an 
Australian artist and occultist. She resided in King's Cross, Sydney, and was dubbed the Witch of King's Cross. Her art was controversial to say the least. Some of her work would depict entities such as Hmm engaging in sex acts with mortals. Despite being enrolled in, in a Catholic all-girls school, Rosaline was known for never liking other kids and would eventually get expelled for drawing images of Hmm and vampires and for just being disruptive. There's a documentary of Rosaline on Amazon Prime called Witch of King's Cross. I will not include any of her artwork in my video, but you are more than welcome to check it out for yourself. Upon passing away in 1979, all her artwork would be owned by Jack Parker and put on display at the Southern Cross Hotel. That's going to be it for me. If you like this video, please show your support by giving it a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like it. I post every day, so there's always more coming soon. Thank you guys for watching, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.